Hello, everyone. Sorry, I'm just doing the standard posting on all the socials so people know I'm live and that I exist. Tundra, thank you very much for the 12 months. Congratulations on a whopping 12 months. Sorry, you're hearing me eat a strep, so. Can anyone hear me, actually? Yeah, we are. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can. Right, I'm going to chuck it over to, J to game. I'm going to say apologies in advance again for the sound. One thing that I am just considering doing is disabling the stinger transition until... It doesn't deafen everyone under the sun. Um, I've turned my desk audio down to minus 15 decibels now, so it should not be as piercing, but again, here is your warning. Close them and I'll be good to go. Again, apologies for all of the, <laughs> all of the noise. So, yeah, I decided to go with another really bad eye pun today. So, blasphemous. So. There we go. Right, I think that's, uh, that's us now. We're in... In motion. I am just gonna reload. Cool. Sound. I think we're good to go. So, what I was trying to do, um, I know, very clever, but I have made the wondrous decision to play the game on my screen to my right, and have chat on my screen to my left. And the beauty of this is. When I turn to read your stuff in chat, I'm looking at the camera instead of not looking at the camera like I used to. So it was all part of the, yeah. Basically, Jessica also said it was a really good idea. So I was like, yeah, sure. And then there was a bit where I had to change my screen, uh, like my main display over and it didn't quite work. I fucked it, so. Here's looking at you kids. I've just realized that I need to connect with Twitch. I need to connect my activity feed because it did a thing. For there's a lot of there's a lot of nonsense that just goes. There we go. We're good. Sound. Okay, today we're gonna be playing Blasphemous, which is as bleak as it sounds. The only problem is my controller doesn't seem to be registered. Ah, it's fine, it's fine. So, I have played this before, but I'm gonna do what... what every good person does, and that's delete all of their good saves, and we're gonna start from scratch. So, how are we all this fine evening? I know, I just deleted a save that was 102% completion, which... Uh. Because it is my guilt, I claim you the greatest miracle. And of course, it is lovely to see you all. I hope you all enjoyed the, um, the vampire stream. And of course, Joy has joined us to... Um chat some more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good enough that you came back for more. <laughs> um, ah, see, that was really, uh, really intended. I knew you needed a wee bit extra time, so I was like, I'll just do that. Yeah, my, uh, my, my, my stats uh, were off the charts. <laughs> 
I always, always find whenever, whenever and people who aren't me join my stream, my, my stream views always spike massively. I feel like uh, Twitch is telling me something. Were visibly and tangibly manifested. I don't think I've ever seen this intro before. I think this is new. Because there was new DLC that came out for the game. Sometimes so... In the form of blessing and grace. Ah, uh, maybe. Sometimes I don't know. The form of punishment and corruption. Anyway, if that you... Uh, will, if you like kind of cruel, bleak, which we very, very Catholic, be able to unravel religious art, <laughs> this is the game for you. If you're a big fan of uh, Name of the Rose as well, Name of the Rose is also good. Big Bones Jones, what a fucking name that is. Welcome and thank you very much for the follow. Big fan of Big Bones Jones. So, so we begin. I have not played this in a while, so please forgive me. I'm pretty sure... Um, you're you're called the penitent one in this. If you wanted to like really get like it's really really religious, like so you're the penitent one. And I'm trying to remember what the, there's like the name of your sword is like something pretty cool as well. Something very religiousy. Oh okay. Okay, so it's R B to do that kind of sliding motion. And we've got A to jump. And I'm so good at jumping that I was able to jump over that. And I can't get up there yet. So, how's the start of this week been for people? It's been like, not gonna lie, it's been a very intense start to the week. Um, Work is always pretty intense, but this this is always kind of like, this has been more intense. I'm a big ball of stress, which is why I like streaming, because I get to, <laughs> I get to wind down and, ah, fuck. Oh god. So, if you've ever been to church, you'll recognize this, because um, this guy always greets you, right? You've made a lot of cheese so far this week, that's amazing! What sort of cheese do you make? Oh god, I need some health. I do love that, like, whenever I come on stream, we've got, like, a resident cheese maker and we've got someone else who does, like, other amazing things. Nice. Boom. First boss, first try. So, you can all, I don't know, clap or whatever it is you do. You must lie back in your chair a wee bit and go, hmm, not bad. Oh, yeah, this cutscene is also pretty gory. There's a lot of gore in this game. Just a kind of heads up. I mean, that's pretty, pretty fucking metal. Filling your helmet up with the blood of your opponent and then just casually just tipping it on you. That's completely normal and not at all psychotic. Lots of kinds of cheese. Okay. Lots of kinds of cheese. Catholic 2D Dark Souls is probably a good way of defining it. Um, it's extremely difficult, the game, in general. Like, it's it's tough. And there's a lot of... Uh, like, the art style's really nice. It's kind of got that kind of semi-pixel feel. Kind of, like... I don't know, it's not like... Is it completely pixelated? I'm not sure. It's like... It is a remote place. It, you know what I mean, though? There's like... I know that there's a mod where it tries to make it a wee bit more like uh, Hollow Knight. Um, which is kind of cool, but... I quite like the art style here. 
It kind of, you know what this actually reminds me of? It reminds me of, see, um, this is something that if I was a wee bit older, I would say, oh, I'm showing my age here. But when I was younger, I, my first kind of experience with video games was like the classic Game Boy. And the classic Game Boy had a really good Donkey Kong game, as in like the OG Donkey Kong game. Um, you know, with the ladders and stuff, and you had to go and use the hammer as Mario and all the rest. So, there was like a full-on game for this. There was the arcade version where it was just really, really basic, and then you had the, um, you had the, like, levels, and you would, like, travel the world. So, like, the first area was a city, and then the second area was, like, the forest outskirts, and, like, it gradually got more and more extreme. And like I remember the like the later levels of the game were like see the see that background there. It was all very like desert, desolate, bleak. So it kind of takes me back there. Aurascala, thank you very much for donating a gift sub. In fact, no, you're continuing the gift sub that you got from Ultimate Dylan. That's even nicer. Thank you very much. I thought you'd gifted Ultimate Dylan for a second there. My apologies. So, we can hit RB to parry. And that's something that's not in any kind of Hollow Knight, but it's pretty cool. Oh, apparently I need to parry more than once. Boom. Oh, still can't get the parries down. Is there, is there such a thing as too much cheese? I don't think so. So, what's this? An orb. We have acquired the... Ve oh, okay, just can't read it. It's fine. The Verdiales... I don't know what this does. Its power finds its way through the floor, continues through walls and ceilings, harming the enemies of the Penitent One. Interesting. And we can use LT for that. That's handy. And if I remember correctly, we can't get up to the top of that tree just yet. I think if you're getting to the point of having your own cheese cavern. Wait, cheese caverns? What the fuck is a cheese cavern? This sounds made up. Ah, oh, man. I am not good at... I am not good at parrying in this game. Okay, one, two... Nope. US made too much cheese, so created a cheese cavern. I mean, that is worse. Uh, no trains 2005. We try not to talk about other creators' discords in general uh, on the stream. So no, I can't invite you or anything. Shit, I need to heal. Forward and parry and one and parry and one. Boom. Not just one cavern, they haven't stopped. So hold on. They, they were like, shit, we've made way too much cheese, so we better put it in a cavern. And then went, well, fuck it, let's turn this into a thing. <laughs> we're going to make as many cavern. <laughs> cavern. <laughs> cavern cheeses. Does cavern cheese taste any better than, like, normal? Cheese. <laughs> Catholicism, the game. <laughs> yep. You're not. You're not far off, to be honest. Um, it's quite incredible this game, to be honest. Like I, I feel like I learned a little bit about kind of like hardcore Catholicism, or I suppose Catholicism back when it was pretty hardcore. Um. Equip rosary beads in your rosary to prove the characteristics of the penitent one. So... 
that slightly increases our defense. So we might as well chuck that one for now because we don't have any other good stuff. So we can also chat. Be the, hard, penitent one. Welcome the dialogue in this game is pretty good as well because it's like, it's just dripping with the... Means. dripping with penitence. You have a rosary from John Paul I. That's cool. Really? How'd you get that? I'm curious. Few remain here who can still employ it. But Tirso is my name. Tirso. There are few of us who still care with devout kisses. Time outside these walls. But if your pen I feel like a lot of you don't necessarily need to know all of this stuff. If you want, I can literally listen to everyone, but your RE teaching in school used to be the Pope's secretary. Holy shit. Like that's that's very cool. He gave it to you as a family friend when I was ten because it was the painful guilt in your cracked hands. The green sword means mod, yes. <laughs> give it to you when, as a family friend when you were ten because you were scared of vampire. Fucking hell, that's cool. Well, <laughs> is it is it bad that my RE teacher um, was arrested for having a significant amount of child porn on his computer? <laughs> I feel like Pope's Pope's secretary and pedo um, is so not your one. My my RE teacher. It was it was pretty pretty bad to say the least. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was more, is it bad to say on stream, rather? I'm not, yeah, it's very much bad. He was arrested with a, like a lot. It was like, like terabytes of the stuff. Um, it, it was, yeah, it wasn't good, like at all. Um, but the, the, the really, like, so he was also a Falkirk Football Club um, mega fan. Um... And he <laughs> basically the the realized um, they realized all too late um, that he'd been arrested and he'd already been like printed on a lot of the like promotional material. Like he was he was literally on like the season ticket like pamphlet and pass and stuff. Um, so they had to, they, like, they ended up having to basically pay for a completely new, um, like, the supporters thing. It was, it was pretty, pretty wild. Um. So apparently holy water can't be diluted, so if you add half a litre of tap water to a litre of holy, you get 1.5 litres of holy water. Really? So, that's pretty cool. Um, does that mean that technically you could add a drop of holy water into, like, Loch Lomond and then create, like, the holiest loch in all the world? That would be pretty cool, right? Oh, it has to be 50. All right, okay. <laughs> okay, so there is, okay, there is a ratio thing. BBC three, I just, I don't, don't, don't watch telly, do I? So what you're saying is if I created a crater of like, that could fill Loch Lomond and add holy water in first and then put the water from Loch Lomond into the new crater, it would then be the holiest loch. Is that, am I right there? I mean, does that work? Oh. Oh god, okay, this thing hits like a fucking brick. 
Oh, it hits a lot. But it dies very quickly like that. So we can now grab this. The... The what? That wasn't the vulva, right? It was the uvula. Uvula? Is that a word? What part of a body is that? <laughs> you get it from the tap. Nice. Holy water on tap. That's uh, that's what you got. Just checking. I'm I'm gonna check what that item was. Ah, it's the. Is it uvula? I misread that as vulva for a second. Um. Chance of earning tears of atonement when destroying an object. Is a word for the dangle bit at the back of your throat. Who collects this? I mean, to be fair, when I was in uh, when I was in Moscow, I went to. Um, like the church of like Christ the Savior. Like the really basically the really big popular church that was like rebuilt because um back in the revolution it was like ripped down. Um and like they've got like body parts of Saint Andrew and stuff there. Like I don't know exactly what it is uh, that they have of them, but they've got definitely got a thing. Got a th they've got a thing of St. Andrews. Because, of course, St. Andrews is also one of the patron saints of Russia. I feel like this is like a, a really religious game, so we're getting religious chat, and I'm utterly out of my depth here. I know, I know a little bit about religion. A, a, a smidgen of religion, if you will. I came up with that on the fly there. I didn't. I didn't even mean to have that rhyme. A smidgen of religion. Yeah, it's it's a full-on helmet thing. I'm just trying to think of what I'm going. I want to go down here actually, don't I? Or do I? I don't even know at this point. Maybe. No, I don't. I don't know what I'm supposed to want to do at this point. I think I'm. I think I'm going up actually. Yeah, Lenin is just a flat body. It's quite odd. Like, it's he's he's there and he's lying there. He's he's very very flat. Which is. Fine. Oh wow, well. that was a gory kill. Trains cut, cut it out, man. <laughs> like, look, I'm more than happy to have you here, but fuck off. <laughs> I'm literally called I for Scotland. My whole thing is about independence. I'm I literally run a political block. Okay, I'm, I'm going to jump up here, but I'm not going to go. Yeah, it's like I really don't want people to be Tories. <laughs> and hop down here. See, that's another thing, like, how quickly enemies respawn in this. See, at least in Dark Souls, you can kill a bunch of people on your way to somewhere, and then you'll be able to kind of progress, because they'll already be killed, and you can run about and you can explore, but, like, every time you go to a different screen, I think these guys pretty much all respawn. There's only a couple of enemies that don't respawn, actually. Um... <laughs> I mean, you say that, but sadly, I'm like a, 
I'm a like Lynx anti-perspirant diehard. I use the I use the stick rather than the spray though, but it's literally the only anti-perspirant that works for me. <laughs> there you go. Now, <laughs> now everyone knows you can smell like I for Scotland by dousing yourself in Lynx Africa. So that's an oh fuck. Let's get out of here. Oh, come on. There we go. Trains. What? <laughs> I'm not going to have the politics thing if it's not a political chat. Like, if I'm covering a general election or something like that, I always chuck on the politics stream. Um, if you're at all upset about getting told that Tonys aren't allowed here, you, you don't need to be here. As Like, I'm more than happy to have you here, but, like... Again, just, it's not how we really do things. Okay, so we're not actually supposed to go that way. That was me being a dumbass. Oh God. So I'm actually getting, like, it's not points, it's like currency up the, like, the top right, and I still don't know what it actually is. Getting a lot better at parries now. That's always good. And here's where I was trying to get to. Ah, fuck. Here's this guy. Sister of mine, as I foretold you, someone is heading towards the Forbidden Gate. So who someone here has seen um? Excommunication of who here has seen the Name of the Rose? Actually. No, no. Not <laughs> backseat, backseat political. Name of the Rose is a good film, right? Like, I feel... So, Name of the Rose, Tristan, is... Like, Sean Connery, Italian Monastery, a kind of murder mystery. It's really good, and it's got Christian Slater in it as well. And some... There's, like, there's a really... I want to say there's just, like, a really gritty sex scene in it as well. Like... Gritty is the only way to describe it because it's medieval and they were really going hard on like Yeah, they were really going hard on like the 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 grittiness of medieval sex Now I know what some of you are thinking, but it I to, to some extent I believe was um Was was consensual in the film. I'm not sure if Christian Slater's character actually consented, but, you know. Um, the, uh, it's, 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 it's really good. Um, and then I, I think I remember looking at IMDb afterwards and Christian Slater was like so much younger than the actress he was, uh, like, having sex with in the film. Like, a lot younger. So it's, it's not so much Black Death, but there is, like, poison in the film. Um, like, there's there's lots of people dying. Uh, and it's up to it's up to Sean Connery as a kind of, like, investigator to to go and solve it. Why, why is that there? Oh, right, sorry. The Sean Bean film's called Black Death. Cool. 
You know what, I'm just gonna run up here and heal because, you know, I might as well. <laughs> Trains, good for you, man. <laughs> like, I'd, whatever. Um, like, all I'm saying is, in my experience, it's a really, really slippery slope. You allow people with, like, right-wing views in, and they're essentially a poison who kind of infiltrate everyone else. Um, so I actually do it to protect the community of people that watch me. If you don't like that, feel free to leave. That's the last thing I'm going to say about it. Um, if you come out with anything else, um, you'll probably get a timeout. Um, and that's pretty much how it's going to go. So... I very much appreciate your input, um, but yeah, impartial like the BBC, you're having a laugh. Yeah, okay. This guy's on the wind up. Uh, Jess, I think you know what to do. Cheers, Jess. Sorry about that, folks. I know it's always, it's like, it's fun to sometimes entertain these people, but if they, there's always a line, like, don't get me wrong, I don't think too highly of the national either, but, uh, like, you know, that was just on the wind up, so, not gonna tolerate it. I wonder who these people are trying to, like, is this, are these, those aren't priests or monks or whatever, there's like, there's some enemies in the game that are like, really, like, really based on like, a religious thing, like a, like a deacon, for example, like, this guy, right, look at this guy, this guy looks very religious, right, and the other guy's obviously one of those, uh, Whipper people. <laughs> Whipper people? Um, uh, yeah, absolutely, Tristan. Feel free to fire it in the Twitch chat in the Discord as well. Hey, Keith, how you doing? Welcome. I like how these guys are just staring at me, which isn't at all worrying. Oh, God. Oh. There we go. Jesus. Hey, Daphne D, thanks very much for the follow. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Let's go. We got the cervical vertebra. Great. Wait, was that actually... Yeah. Cervical vertebra of Zitcher the Brewmaster. I mean... Gotta admit, like, having a... Like, fighting with a candelabra is pretty fucking metal. If you were get, If you were trying to create a, a religious... Uh, oh. Oh, sweet. We got a small bead of wax. Yes. Slightly increases vita vitality. I'm actually going to do that. Maybe? Like, maybe? Yeah, maybe. I would... I would, I would like strengthened vertebra, to be honest. So what is this? Ah, moss. This is actually quite good. I do want that um, at some point. Empty tarnished sphere. There's no trace of... Knacker? Don't know what that is. And 
A holy key. A forbidden key. I mean, I might as well get the key, right? And then I'm also going to try and get this if I can. Yeah, 1,500. Because if that protects me against poison, you know, you always get these games that, like, poison the fuck out you, you know? Okay, we're going to go this way. And, yeah, the spikes in this game are, like, notorious for being the worst thing in the world. Um... Oh, like so. Okay. At least I can just strike from afar. They're just going to run in and die. I know that's a wee bit cheesy what I'm doing there, but like, yeah, it works. Every single death in this game is unbelievably gory as well. <laughs> Jesus. See what I mean? <laughs> there we go. No, that's not... That is not the Pope. <laughs> just realised I could, I could get in a lot of trouble with God if I just, like, casually walked around this game being like, Hey, that's... Th the fucking Pope. Oh god, this is not going well! Son of a bitch. New Pope mobile just dropped. <laughs> I just managed to spin the lid of my water directly off. Okay, well we do get to live. Oh, I like how the game informs me on how to dodge there. That's great, that. <laughs> so long, so long as that, well, uh, <laughs> that, that's what I need to be forgiven, really. So the good news is, is that I've opened up, like, a whole bunch of these shortcuts anyway, so I'm not like, oh, fuck. Yeah, no point in fighting all these. Okay, so we'll just fly through this again. Ow. Come on. And jump, and run, and fuck, I jumped too early, and shit. I can't wait until I get an upgrade for my weapon, actually, because this has taken forever to kill these people. I remember in late game, you can, like, kill these guys in two hits, and it's so much easier, funnily enough. No, the the next cervix wasn't a wasn't an upgrade. It's a collectible that you can then hand in and get stuff later. Um, however, unfortunately, I'm not quite there yet, so I need to. Um Is a next service? I'm. T oh, no, no, I'm not going to go there. Actually. <laughs> Was Twitchy's policy on flagellation? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> um, if you're going to flagellate, you need to use the flagellation tag, okay? Um. There we go. There's my, there's my body with my points. Nice. 
Guilt frag <laughs> guilt fragment recovered. Just in case you weren't guilty. Wait, is that Jessica saying Star Wars memes in chat? What's going on? You got to ban someone so you're on a trip. Ah, uh, see, wielding that ban hammer. Okay, <laughs> get dr drunk with power. Boom. Boom. I like to say boom every time I kill someone. It's how I, it's how I know that I'm doing good. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on! <laughs> oh, I don't like the look of that gate. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck! Oh my god! <laughs> the fucking Bob's chasing me! Sorry, no, it's not the Pope, it's a... It's a deacon or whatever. Well, that was horrifying. He's gonna steal my pants, okay. That's, that's purely what he was after. Oh man, I, <laughs> I do like that uh, Automod flagged the word thoughts there. Specifically under misogyny, although I can imagine there will be a lot of people on Twitch, sadly, that that would apply to. From a place of blessings have I been entrusted with watching over you, penitent one. Thus it has been arranged. Okay. My name is Viridiana. Viridiana. Oh, penitent one in silence. Will you require my assistance with your next task? So, basically, she'll help us fight a boss, but we don't want her to do that. Um, and we don't want her to do that for some reason. Um, I've forgotten what, but you're basically you really don't want her to do that because, um, it. It doesn't end well. Um. Oh yeah, we can also like travel, which is kind of useful. So we yeah, there is fast travel in this game as well. Um. Oh fuck! Ganked by the Candelabra Squad. Jump and a fuck and jump and uh. boom! There we go. I've found the pisiform, whatever that is. Anyone know what a pisiform is? <laughs> any any like biology biology folk in here? Biologists? Any like medicine? Is it okay? I'll show you. The pisiform of Hernandez. On the side of your pinky. Tundra, how do you know so much about body parts? <laughs> okay, okay. We'll, uh, we'll allow that. <laughs> we'll allow that. We're not allowing, uh, yeah, you just harvest your, uh, harvest a corpse near you. Oh, fuck. So this is another... Oh, fuck. Pass. Ah, yes, this is the... Ten Piedads. I don't know any of these creatures. Oh, no. This is not going well. Oh. How, is it, how am I supposed to dodge any of this? There we go. Oh! Oh, 
Okay, nope, not good. Nope. Weirdly overpowered. I feel like I'm weirdly underpowered, actually. Oh. oh no! So, okay, so he does the stomp and then the spikes. Katie, official. Ofi official what? Ben Bono Bonologist. Is that someone who's just really into you too? Because I, I don't really want that. <laughs> we got we, <laughs> when that when 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 you two arrived in my iTunes library for no reason. You study how to bone eye at uh, me specifically. Ah, okay. On. Get out of there! Get in there again! Get out of the ah fuck! Oh, he's angry! He's angry! Get back in there! Oh no! Oh no! This is the worst thing. Okay, so I can block that attack. Actually, that's handy. Okay, I can partly block that attack and then get fucking wrecked. How am I supposed to... What in the fuck? Oh, this is horrible. I'm not doing well. I was so close as well. Sorry, I got into like a really serious thing there, eh? It's like, you know when you're fighting a boss and you go like very... Like, need to concentrate, need my concentration face on. It's okay though, because we're totally going to do it this time. What did they say? Third time's a charm? Well, this is the third time, so... You all get... The, like, you all get permission to bully me if I uh, fuck this. One, two, oh. Ah! Okay, we're back in. One, two, three, block. One, two, three, one, oh. And one, two, three. Oh, one, two, three, get out of there. Get back in there. Get under there. Oh, no. Oh, that's cheeky. Angry plant boy. So is this like a lesion? Are lesions a Catholic thing? Oh no. Ah, fuck. I was close to doing that hitless there. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Third time's a charm. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Oh, 
That wasn't actually bad. I was so close to doing that hitless as well, and then I ran into a bush, and I... Apparently that's all you need, just to run into a bush. Who's this? Also, all of the statues in this are giant. And see, this, this scene here, right? This scene here looks exactly like a kind of desolate, desolate desert old pixel thing of the original Mario game on the Game Boy Advance. Like, you would play levels like this. And, like, obviously you had stuff that was in the foreground and you could, like, jump on and stuff. But, like, this is exactly the kind of, like, parallax, like, backgrounds you'd get. Desolate. Yeah, but okay, I'll give you that. Lessons are not Catholic things. <laughs> yeah. This is not the Pope. This is... May the gold in my visage melt and erase the attrition of your soul. Hmm. Fair. Oh, we got the holy wound of attrition. Great. Okay. <laughs> so... Okay. It's obviously a thing we need. Ah, the desecrated cistern. That's... Basically another word for haunted sewer. It's basically what this place is. Haunted sewer with swamp monsters. Spooky toilet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's better actually. That's better than my thing. No worries, Keith. Have a good one. Thanks for dropping in. Oh, that was close. Oh! Does this violate Twitch Terms of Service? See my tormented heart. Let the ones who are joyful in affliction and fasting come to me, for they are pleasant penance. Six sting pains lance my flowery breast. Take the first one and purge one of your six mortal stains as a dissolve. <laughs> oh. Maximum health is increased. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was, um... Yeah. That was definitely a thing. I'm glad that, um... I'm glad that increased my maximum health, though. That's... That's what you really want. What did I get? I got the Scaphoid of Fierce the Leper. What is a Scaphoid? Tundra, it's your time to shine. What is a Scaphoid? Oh, who's this? Oh! <laughs> Another Carpal Bone. See, ah, oh, that's no fun. I kind of wish I knew what a carpal bone was now. Just so I could play along. I freed a cherub. There you go. <laughs> okay, what have we got through here? Now, I believe that... Okay, that still hurts. That's not, maybe not what I need to do. I'll go this way instead. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, no! I hate exploding men, and I hate whoever this is. It's like... Explode like it's always like exploding zombies or you know that kind of you know those kind of guys those dudes Okay, so that's one. Oh no Oh What the fuck what's going on? Uh, 
Infinitely respawning, exploding men. The worst. Oh no. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's that dickhead that keeps on respawning them, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Look. He's the bell ringer. Oh. Okay. Oh, yes, I am a little surprised at Resurrection in my Catholic game. Because normally it's three fucking days. Oh, God. <laughs> the Resurrection speedrun. Casually jumping into acid. It has been done before. Oh, that again. Because I'm an idiot. There we go. So this is the this is the problem that I run into in like these kind of games is that I want to explore everywhere and it always ends up me exploring like the right way to go first and then I can't even fucking see, man. I feel like it's a cruel joke putting, like, putting these guys, like, behind pillars. Okay, come on, let's just get out of here. Yeah. And... Oh, okay, they can spawn anywhere. Great. Exactly. Oh, like, you know, they didn't, <laughs> they didn't do anything basic with this game. They just went, like, you know what? The rats are cool as hell, but you've got to fight, like, priests. <laughs> what is this? An empty bile vessel. Yay. Because <laughs> if there's one thing we like, folks, it's a vessel filled of bile. To... Or... A vessel that can hold bile, but is actually empty. That, that's actually worse. I would rather have the vessel full of bile. <laughs> Fuck that vase. Or whatever it is. It's not a vase, is it? Oh no, it's, it's, it's Jessica's birthday before mine, so... This is not going well at all. Oh. Thought I was being clever there, apparently not. I have so little health, like... This isn't good. None of this is good. Yep. Fucking straight up died. Fantastic. I'll get back there in no time, though. It's fine. So it's fine, it's fine. Now that I'm not, like, going all the wacky routes to pick up stuff. I hope th there better be, like, a pickup in the future where I can just, like, just zoom about. Oh, is, th is that- that's what it is. The bile's the health. Although, I thought I was drinking blood. Or just red health potion. Surely bile is, like- n bile shouldn't be red. If bile's red, you've- you've really got to go to the hospital. It's an emergency. Okay, hop there. Oh no. Hop there. Hop there. Hop there. Kill the exploding man, jump over the exploding man, and up the ladder. And then we're here, 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 here. Is it this way? Yes. Cool. So jump up here, jump there, jump there, jump there, jump over that guy. 
You know what? We'll kill him just for. Oh no. Spoke too soon. Oh. Survived that. Jump there. Stab this guy twice. Jump over him. <laughs> Did you ever need permission? I don't think any of you ever asked for permission before. Oh, fuck. So I think what I'm going for is up here. What's in here? Okay, that looks like the bit I need to go. What's up here, though? Aha! What? Oh, no, there's a... <laughs> The humorous of McMittens. Fuck off, that's not a name. Okay, so this is here, that's fine. So I need to actually continue along, so. McMittens, F fuck off. A nurse and cat lover, McMittens saved countless lives, humans and others. Unable to bear saving those who showed no respect for life, he put an end to his own. Oh, that's fucking depressing. Yeah, thanks, Tundra. Right, thanks, Tundra. <laughs> the Scottish holy cat. Here we go. I feel like if I was another type of streamer, everyone would want, like, an emote of, like, specifically a very overly Scottish cat. But we don't do cringe here. We do another type of cringe. Not Scottish cringe, but just cringe. Right, where am I going? Am I going down here? Do I want to go down here? Oh god. This... Yeah, this, I don't think this is where I'm actually supposed to be trying to get to. In fact, I think this is literally just for collectibles at this point. But that's fine, because we need to do all the collectibles anyway. Haha. -ha. Oh, fuck. Jump. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, no, I can just literally just... Ah, fuck. Okay. What did we get? The Black Grieving Veil. What is that? What does that do? Dark cloth that has kept its silky feel despite the passing of the years. One of the three remains of an unfinished ceremony. The wounds inflicted by a broken oath rarely ever find healing. Okay. There's quite a lot of, um... Like, there's quite a lot of gr ground to cover. Like... I don't know, I feel like there's... I feel like I'm going the wrong way for a start. Um... Which I am, because I can't go to either of these areas, which is great. So, we're fine. Oh. And splat. <laughs> oh, great. Thanks. So, yeah, decided that we weren't going to play Dark Souls 2 today. The only reason for it is because I think that... Um, I'm going to try and do a better job at, like, spacing games out when a game kind of semi-runs its course. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm more than happy to go back to Dark Souls 2 at some point, for those of you who are desperate to see uh, the next part. Um, but I thought, you know, we can actually, because I'm streaming um, three days now, we can actually have a wee bit more variety, because that's the spice of life, you know? Oh, fuck. Um, cool. 
don't know what that was. Am I? Yeah, we're going the right way still. One, two, and... I'm going to go up. I'm going to see if I can get... Oh, what the fuck? Two faces greet you, penitent one. My name is Nascimento. Great. Okay. My chest, upon which an ancient visage grows older and older. A face that does not speak, that does not think. While mine becomes younger, such that I now look like a child. Uh huh. Such a terrible sentence is this that I do not understand its purpose. No matter how much I reflect on the sin that I may have committed to deserve it, uh -huh. the grace of the miracle is present even in those who are punished. That is not what Perhaps the grace I of the miracle looks the like. He is only. just. It's like, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Bring me the quicksilver. Bring me the quicksilver. So I need quicksilver, bile flask, and tears of atonement. Great. Bring me the quicksilver. Bring, bring me the quicksilver. Okay, okay. Jeez. Sure. I'll get right on that. Oh, oh nice. The calcineum. Calcineum? This lowly servant greets you, O penitent one. Welcome to the ossuary of all those who will be eternally remembered. My duty is none other than to provide shelter to each and every one of these skeletal remains. It matters little how many okay. years or so, but these remains only together bring them before me. Oh, cool! We get to <laughs> we get to deposit our our bones. Whatever happens, they say afterwards it must have been fate. People are always a little confused about this, as they are in the case of miracles. When someone is saved from certain death by a strange concatenation, what? I've never seen that word before. Concatenation words of circumstances. I swear to God, I'm not that dumb. I just don't know what that word is. Of circumstances, they say that's a miracle. But of course, if someone is killed by a freak chain of events, the oil spilled just there, the safety fence broken just there, that must also be a miracle. Just because it's not nice doesn't mean it's not miraculous. Calcineus isn't your heel bone. Nice. Bring the bone. Are you telling me that I didn't get fucking anything from giving you, like, a whole bunch of bones? I should get, like, a little thing as, like, a treat or whatever, you know? Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah, you can, like, upgrade shit. I feel like I could have used that earlier. That's one that I want. Basically, the... F yeah, basically, anything that upgrades my attack is really where we're... I'm trying to think, so... Okay, so I can go... I'm gonna go to Albero, and I'm gonna go and get the... I'm gonna get the thing that I need. The thingy, you know? The medic. The... I'm gonna pray at the altar, basically. Yeah, this thing. Boom, there we go. Actually, I know where I'm going now. Or do I? I think I'm going up there. So we're gonna, we're gonna go for there. Oh, the church is open now. I think this is the church anyway. Oh yeah, you need to donate stuff. 
You need to basically donate your special money. Um, and I think it's one of those things that rewards over time. And when you get to, um, like, when you've paid, like, enough in, you get, like, shitloads of stuff. Oh, we've got a linen cloth. That's useful. See, that was the fourth strike there. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I think the teething thing actually does get you stuff, which is better than it not, I suppose. Okay, so we're just going to fly through this section, really. And I've just realized I should have went down rather than... Rather than up. Never mind. We'll just do this quickly. Oh, yeah, you need so much money in this game. It's absurd. Like, I think eventually you find stuff that you can, like, sell, which makes it a bit faster. But, yeah, it's pretty, like... Basically, you need to give the church a lot of money. Like, to the point where I'm pretty sure you do have to grind at some points to actually get the cash for the things you need. Because, like... If you're just killing your way there, it doesn't give you <laughs> historically accurate. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going right again. And we're jumping over here. Oh, that was cheeky. There we go. Jump up here. The nice thing is, because we've already killed these people before, I don't feel as guilty about running past them. So we don't need to kill absolutely everyone. Bye. So we're... Yeah, we're up here. This, this part of the game that we're going to is fucking hard as shit, right? It is, like, one thing this game doesn't do well is platforming, right? Um, and it'll become really apparent if we continue with this game, which I'm sure we will if people are enjoying it and they're up for it. Um, but this game gets, like, just absurd when it comes to platforming, to the point where you're like, some of the mechanics are, were not made for, um, were not really made for it. But, we'll, well, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. It'll be fine. Huh. See, we can reach them there. So you've got this kind of platforming thing where you've got to, like, stab your blade into the wall. Which is fine. We got incense garlic. Okay. Not quite sure what happened there. <laughs> what bone is the thimble? I think it's quite literally an empty golden thimble. <laughs> Oh no! Oh yeah, you get these fuckers. They suck. They look like wee eerie wig things. I don't even know what they're supposed to be. But they look like eerie wigs. Eerie wigs? Ear wigs? And there's fucking two of them. Oh yeah, this thing also sucks. I don't know, again, don't know what this is supposed to be, but it's... Can fucking jump for miles. Come on. Oh, come on. 
What in the hell? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not Hollow Knight as far as I'm aware. Speaking of which, I really cannot wait for Silk Song. I was I was hoping we'd hear a wee bit more about it this year, but I I just I don't know. Maybe not. What the fuck is that face in there? Look at it! It's got red eyes! Sorry, there's normally a person there, so I'm a bit surprised. Maybe I've done something wrong, actually. That wouldn't be surprising. I normally do things wrong. That sounded way more depressing than I intended it to be. One, two, three. And up. Uh, one and two and shit and fuck. See that fourth attack's actually quite powerful as well, because I was able to just hit him once afterwards, so. Eerie big thing, one, two, eerie big thing, one, two. I know, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm desperate for it to come out, um, I wonder when it will, I'm curious. Oh, this is a fucking nightmare. Oh, what in the hell, what am I doing? Yeah. Ori... Ori is a very pretty game. Like, I, I I don't think I enjoyed Ori as much as I did Hollow Knight, but Hollow Knight's still... Sorry, Ori is still, like, really, really good. Um, I think it's quite interesting because a lot of people... When Hollow Knight first came out, a lot of people moaned that it looked like a Ori clone. Um, and then when... Ori and the Will of the Wisps came out. The everyone said that Ori had copied Hollow Knight. I feel like they're both just kind of building on each other. So yeah, hopefully there's some. What would you like to see from Ori in Hollow Knight? Because I'm quite interested in that. I quite like the burrow ability, and I, like I think Ori was like way more puzzle focused, but like. Oh, fuck. There we go. Weapon range, yeah. Is that range of weapons or the actual range of your attack? <laughs> ah, this fucking thing again. See, it's absolutely fine when you're on, like, ground level. Oh god, okay. <laughs> Set it on fire. Oh, that was cheeky. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, that thing's dead. Ah, jeez. There. Oh no! Come on, come on! <laughs> oh man, this is... 
<laughs> it's a lot harder than I remember it being. I knew this bit was hard, but that was, yeah, that was intense. Okay. And I'm out of health as well, which isn't good. As in, out of the ability to fill my health, which isn't good. Oh, come on. Remains of Tenchudia's hair. Excellent. Because if there's one thing that I was wanting was hair remains. Again, quite interesting. I, so, uh, I've got to ask people, uh, what's your thoughts on the the camera position or like the chat position now? Um, have have I looked more engaged to this stream or have I looked distant because I've been looking at this screen rather than this screen? Because normally I'm looking at this screen more. Sorry. Normally I'm looking at this screen and playing the game. But I've done it the other way. And yeah. We can still see the hair wave. Yeah, the hair wave isn't much today. I haven't put anything in my hair. I just washed it and pushed it back. Um, so yeah, the, the hair, the hair flick isn't really on, isn't really on point, but it's, it's passable. Oh, we've got another thing. Thanks, Jessica. The torn bridal ribbon, the wounds inflicted by a broken oath rarely ever find healing. Don't know what that means. What's this? Ember of the Holy Cremation. Increasing the defense of whoever carries it. <coughs> and you have a pack of tissues there. No, you don't. You've got the calcified eye <laughs> of erudition. Interesting. Oh, that was a quote from Mean Girls. Okay. I like how most of our relationship is Jessica saying, like, like, referencing things that I haven't seen or don't watch as aggressively as she does. She called me a dumb hotel the other day after Annie, because it's in Annie, and I was just like, what? And I thought it was really, really funny that she said it, and then she said, oh, it's, it's an Annie reference. I was just like, okay, sure. And it's not that I haven't seen Annie, it's just, yeah. Oh, look at that. Skills. Mad skills. Ah, a knot of rosary rope. Get in. An immaculate bead. Oh, no. I am rid of guilt. Excellent. So there is a thing with them that I need to do at the end. So this is dumb, right? But I'm going to do it. So, yes, I did just die. But it was for the cause. It was to free the cherubs. So, like, had to free the cherubs, right? And it's okay, because I can just jump down here and grab it. That's all good. And now we can take this really silly lift that really... Is, needs explained a lot because, you know, what the hell, but yeah, it, it goes all the way down there for some reason. It does look a lot like a Hollow Knight lift, yeah. <laughs> but that's fine. What's this again? This place is another dream, penitent one. Oh, great. Statues with feet. They believe me a saint worthy of devotion. The punishment of the miracle for the false I do not try to obtain my name. Bring me anything that can be blessed. Okay, we can bless the linen cloth. Nice. Behold the lid, a tool that obtains secret in the name of the high. I then got the Shroud of Dreamt Sins. See, that sounds way more exciting, doesn't it? 
So what does that do? Witness the febrile confessions. It still quivers in the face of tortures. So allowing one to listen to those who can no longer speak. There we go. We can now talk to ghosts. <laughs> Sorry, I've just seen that tundra calcified eyes after you take your vitamins. I do try my best. So I'm not going to continue up there just yet. I'm actually going to go down the way again. Into the depths. And I'm going to the right. There we go. Wee, So, yeah, I've not gone this way yet. So we'll go this way. Oh, great. We're in the mountains of the endless dusk. Um. Oh, whoa. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> I like that. So you just decided to roll past me. Oh, we got the Metacarpus of Hodges. Go on, Tundra. <laughs> oh, Jesus fuck. Oh, God. <laughs> what the fuck? Fucking things. There we go. Interesting. <laughs> That's the big hand bones in your palm. Nice. This would be a really good way to like study for an exam, I think. <laughs> Just have you, have you uh, give the name for all of the different bits of people's bodies that we're collecting. Oh God. Oh fuck. Shit, shit. What the fuck is going on? Okay. Come on. Jump. I like how the enemies in this game often just fucking explode. Like, oh yeah, that's how they, that's how you die. I don't know what those wee things are, they're creepy. Okay. Oh. Whoa. That's pretty minging as well. Um. There you go. You happy now, Arascala? <laughs> It's just I've not really found the use for it yet, but I have now. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. What? Oh no. Wait, what? Is this not a boss? Oh god. How is this not a boss? Oh no. That oh god. I find this extremely unfair. Oh, get fucked. I'm gonna die, haven't I? 
I can't even see her. Oh, did I win? Fuck yeah. I won. Perpetuous protection. Nice. What's that? Oh, it offers protection against lightning attacks. Great, because I've encountered no lightning enemies as of yet. Wait a minute. It... Are they not from... You know that arcade game that used to be at, like, every arcade ever? Is it, like, a... is it like the Metal... Not Metal Gear Solid, but was it, like, Metal Gear or something? Is that not that guy? <laughs> oh, penitent one. We traverse strange roads under the same firmament. With nigh other trade, nigh other name. Metal slug, that was it. Yeah, that looks like the metal slug guys, yeah. I knew it was metal something. My name is Redento. Redento. Pilgrim of the Oasis taketh nigh Maybe this is like a throwback, because that totally looks like the guys that you save for like extra points, right? We are before Hondo, the great buried bell. Hondo. 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 Okay. I would really, really appreciate some health right now. Like. What, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Oh, I just got absolutely done. Fucking hell. <laughs> De absolutely destroyed. No mercy. <laughs> oh, shit. You know what? Fuck all of you. I would really appreciate that, Jess, because I'm... I, if anyone hasn't caught on, I've, like, I've had sort of a cold for the past, like, ages. Um. Hey, silly, silly Sergei Gamer, how you doing? Welcome. I am indeed a Scottish playing Blasphemous. How's it going with you? Okay, so we got to here, boom, and now we go down. And we've got to remember not to ring that bell, because that kills you, apparently. Oh! It, okay, so it kills you even if you don't ring it. Okay, they're ringing themselves. See, the, I feel like this is where we're getting into like more platformy territory, and I don't like it. Oh, she's ringing the bell, you fucker. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> no mercy. Right, jump up here, pull the lever. Nice. Oh god! <laughs> Scapula is your shoulder blade, thank you. <laughs> it's what they fucking deserve, D Grim. <laughs> silly. I'm gonna say silly Sergey Gamer. Um, where is it you're from? Are you on the hunt for Scottish people, or are you Scottish yourself and you're just like <laughs> you saw that <laughs> you saw the tag? Oh fuck! Oh, see that's difficult because how am I gonna? So I need to jump the crop. Fuck! Okay, that's well, that's annoying. Do I just like fuck it? No, because that fucks you as well. You've never seen a Scott before. Is your giant sword in the back? <laughs> Aye. 
Yeah, we, uh, we've got to keep them sheathed at all times. We're too dangerous to actually be let out of Scotland, so... Oh, go away. Actually, I think this game is heavily um, influenced by your kind of, like, Spanish Catholicism. I think it's a Spanish uh, development team as well, is it not? Pretty sure it is. Right, dead. Ah, the fucking bells, man. Bell ends, more like. Oh, nice. Oh! No mercy. Let's kill this bell ringer. Indeed. Because it was the it was the Shiltrons, wasn't it? We used We used the old Shiltrons in pretty much all of our battles, and then it was Robert the Bruce who kind of like allegedly went, you know what? It'd be better if we could move. <laughs> so he created moving Shiltrons. <laughs> Oh fuck, that respawned that woman. Ugh. That's pure shit, man. Okay, so do that. Oh, nope. Oh. Ah, see, I can't go. Ah, that's cool. You can use the bells to smash the other stuff. One, two, three. And one and two. Nice. I mean, yeah, it comes from the Gallic. Claim more. Oh, thank you, Marvini. Thank you. I've got my tea now. My tea in my very tasteful mug. Which has lots of different boobs on it. Including... Like, including one with a mastectomy. Very inclusive. I like how... <laughs> I like, <laughs> I like how this this is clearly like quite a, like quite a feminist mug to say the least. But I think Jessica got me it because she was like, "You like tits." <laughs> you have that mug in pink, nice. Oh, that didn't ring. I must admit, I'm a wee bit like. I'm a wee bit blasphemous, or I'm a bit of a heathen when it comes to, um, when it comes to Dark Souls, because I use the Zweihander rather than the Claymore. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all of my fans and all of my followers. I do not properly represent Scotland in every single game. But personally, I prefer the move set of this Vihander. I know, I know, I know. Oh, come on. How did that not kill him? Oh, but that does. Great. Ooh. Ah, fuck. Oh, my God. Right. Dead. Dead. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm guessing they ran into the wall and then they... I think this Vihander was a, like a favourite of your kind of like... Obviously Germany wasn't really there at the time, but like that kind of areas... Um, like mercenaries and stuff. Stab and a 
jump and uh, see you later, Deliberate Dragon. Thanks for uh, thanks for hanging out. One, two, three. I know we technically activated the other side, but I think this is still the faster way because of where they spawned. Although the good thing is, is that we can just kind of jump. Oh, there we go. Sound. So, we'll go back to where we were and we've got to make sure that we jump that thing. So we go down here. Oh, fucked it. Absolutely fucked it. <laughs> Can I jump these guys? I can. Right, I can actually do like one full clear on jump. That's that's useful. Oh god. These guys are the fucking worst. I hate them. The fucking range that they have as well is pretty bullshit. So Ah, fuck. Again, man. See, the combat is not as, like, not as jumpy as Hollow Knight, if you get me. Like, it's not as, as I wouldn't say floaty, because floaty's maybe not the right way to describe it, but it's like, with Hollow Knight, I feel like you get a lot of, um, like, fast-paced, like, you can really quick, fast reflex movement. This is kind of more... Dark Souls y, like, you're kind of semi committing to a lot of your attacks. You can still get out of the way if you're fast enough, but it's not the same as the other one. Nice, we got the vertebra of Lindquist the Forger. Nice. I'm gonna go and explore up this ladder first because that might allow us a shortcut. Ah. Uh... Fuck these fucking guys. That's just vertebra, that's just the spine, right? Cool. See, that didn't even fucking work. Yeah, that was odd. Until Katie says, oh, okay, sorry. My bad. There we go. And, ah, uh, shit. Bleh! What the fuck? Punched at the top of a ladder. Okay, so let's jump up here. Stab that thing. Jump there. Apparently I can't hit that. There we go. Don't know why I had to like proper set up in that chair there. Oh come on, I can do it. Nice. So I was at Crav last night and we were practicing a whole bunch of like chokes and like my neck has been like really fucking sore all day as in like feel like it's almost like it's been in a cast. I've just been very like <laughs> bolt upright. Um so yeah, if you see me if you see me straining my neck weirdly, it's because of that. Nah, I don't believe you, Aldiscal. I think you'd be uh, you'd be too too quick in your reflexes. Oh god! Oh fuck! I hate this. Oh god! This is terrible. Dislike a lot. Oh no! <sighs> what? Fuck off! I was. What the fuck? What the hell was that? I can't believe that. I was on that little fucking thing. Y'all saw it! Y'all fucking saw it! I'm gonna 
assassinate this old lady. Okay, so at least we can we can get that we got that shortcut opened. That's a that's a positive. And we'll kill this thing, and we'll kill this thing, and we'll jump here, jump here. Oh, this fucking guy, asshole. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, getting boxed in by those guys is a bit annoying. Great. Uppercut by a cross. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They do. Uh, like, some of the enemies, like, you proper, like, fucking split in half and shit. It's pretty full on. I think one thing about this game that's different from Hollow Knight, though, is if you land in the spikes, that is you fucking dead. So it makes the platforming, like, really, really frustrating later on, because it's like, one mistake equals death. A wee bit re like real life, but I don't really play games to be, like, real life. Okay, there we go. Up here. Nice. And then go there, go there, go there, go there, go up. Now, last time, I didn't make that jump, which I think is bullshit. I definitely made that jump. That was nonsense. See, there's a, there's an interesting, uh, ah, shit. There's an interesting thing later on in the game where you've got, like, they tried to be, they basically created, like, fun speed, fun speed running uh, challenges. And it's, for want of a better word, hell. Oh, there's some quicksilver for that one guy. Also got Echoes of Salt. You know, echoes of, of salt. Oh. So this is so this is a thing that's literally not fucking explained anywhere. Ah shit. And it's imp it's really, really hard to get the timing down on it as well. But you can pogo on those things. You know how you can pogo in Hollow Knight? And how you can, like, you know, you can, like, pogo on the spikes and stuff. You're supposed to do that with these swinging fucking lights. And it's awful. It is the worst thing ever. It is, it is not a well-implemented mechanic. I have no idea why they think it's a good idea. I had to look up a full-on fucking tutorial. Is it worse than Insta Spikes? It's... You know what? It kind of is, because... If you miss it and you're doing it over spikes, it's it's shocking. It was it's not implemented well at all. It's it's not. Like in Hollow Knight, I can pogo off of pretty much anything, and I'll like I'll never fuck up a pogo basically. In this, it is all the time. <laughs> so it's jump one, not nah, fucking. Yeah, you can do it on enemies, but nah. See, what the fuck? How? 
How did I not get that? <laughs> also, the hitboxes on those blue fireballs fucking suck. So I was drinking out my tip mug. There you go, Jesus. Fire enclosed in enamel. <laughs> Great. And that accelerates the use of prayers. At the moment though, in fact, you know what, I'm gonna do it just because. I'm gonna have to at some point anyway, so. I'll do it just now, just so it appears on the map. But, in this section, I think it opens out. Oh God, they're back. They're back, but this time they're in the dirt. Cool. So I think this actually brings us out. Yeah. So this brings us out back by that first guy. So we're going to go back down, so all that was just really to open up that section. But hey, we've got a wee shortcut for next time, that's all good. Uh, yep, we're still going down here, oh god. Watch the fire, jump down here, jump through here. Now you can go down, but I don't think it's worth it. You eventually come back up there, so I'm not going to bother. I'm going to see if I can get to the other bit, but we'll we'll see. I am a wee bit kind of minding my time here, folks, so do bear with me. Uh, and if I need to jump off, I'll just do that, but we will see if we can at least conquer this fucking thing. Oh, I hate, fucking hate this game. <laughs> fucking flying arseholes. Um, and again, like, if that was in Hollow Knight, I would just probably get, like, you know, a wee loss of health. Um, Flying Assholes is the name of your cover band. Nice. There we go. And jump, and jump, and jump, and jump, and jump. Kill him. Jump, jump. So that will stop me having to do that fucking shit show every single time I want to <laughs> uh, I want to play this bit. So we're good on that. We'll drop down here. We'll jump that, and we will escape. And that's just done the left hand side, I believe. There's also a right hand side, funnily enough. And we go down here. In fact, is that? Oh, I'm a wee fucking idiot. Sorry. Oh, that was a creepy noise. Oh, come on. Oh, get... Fucking hell. Cool, now we can go off to this side. So, we need to knock off the chain on this other side here. Oh my god! Okay. Let's drink some juice. So, thoughts on Blasphemous then, folks? Is this something we're going to want to continue? I mean, anything that apparently causes me pain um, is something that you all seem to really enjoy. But, yeah, is it something that we'd be keen to continue? Cool. Do you know we have bagpipes here too? Yes, I do. Oh 
god. <laughs> oh fuck, that was close. I'm gonna try and kill this guy. Hey Valhalla, nice to see you. How's it going? Okay, so jump on here, slide through there. And we pick up Vertebra of John the Gambler. Uh, I have. I've uploaded the entire Firewatch thing to YouTube. It's not on my YouTube chat, like my my video essay channel. It's on I for Scotland Live. Um, I uploaded the vampire one as well, if you're interested in seeing that. And I'll be uploading this one too. Even the nonsense at the start, I know. Thanks, Jess. I think if I if I actually get enough subscribers on um, I for Scotland Live, then I would actually be able to put a custom URL in. Um, that's the dream. But at the end of the day, it's uh, just an archive, so I'm not really expecting like tons of folk to subscribe to it like they would my other YouTube channel, which everyone should all subscribe to right now. Um, but I think that Ancestors video is approaching uh, 20,000 likes, which is pretty cheeky. Oh, nice blood. Refill. Oh, yes, please. Oh, I can fill up my bile. I can get more biles. Look at that. I've got five now. Yeehaw. Get in. That's not bad. Ah, oh, that's annoying. I like how when you're killing someone else, attacks just don't fucking phase you at all. Wait a minute, can I punch that back at him? Or was that just... I'm gonna, I'm gonna test this, actually. Come on, throw it at me, you dick. Come on. No, oh, it doesn't even... Okay, apparently you can't see. Nice. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we can destroy this side. Hooray! Yes, you can hit it back! That's handy. Can't believe I didn't know that until now. God, that's annoying. <laughs> ah, puzzle. Oh no. Okay, I need to do it on the way up. <laughs> Genuinely didn't look like it was going to make it there, but it, it worked, it worked. We keep on getting knots of rosary rope, but I don't know what it means or does. It'll probably do nothing at all. Nah, sorry, that was bad. Terrible. Jail. Immediate jail for using bad puns. Oh, come on. You little flying bastards. Okay, we made it. Oh god, this looks bad. Come on. Uh. Right, I'm going to focus on killing these annoying wee fucks first. Because I can always jump over this guy. Come on. 
Oh, no. Oh, the fuck. Oh my god. There we go. Oh, I can't even get over there yet. I need to fucking power up. Use them like monkey fist. Jill, Jill build rosaries. <laughs> nice, we got 10 out of 38 cherub people. Not sure if we can call people that. Aha! Oh, you fuck. <laughs> Come back, cherub. I'm gonna, gonna get that, obviously. Boom. 11 out of 38. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Oh, there's a thing we need to get. There's so many things we need to get. We'll go over and speak to the guy, though, because he'll be like, Hey, you fucking turned on the thing. Oh, thou art the answer to my prayers. I'm the answer to his oh, prayers. thank you for thee, for thine aid. It is of little use for me to remain here, though. The fourth toe made of limestone. Nice. This guy just snapped off his prosthetic toe and handed me it. It's what the people really want. I don't, don't, don't want any gifts for my birthday besides people's prosthetics. In fact, no, that's not. That No, no, we're not doing that. Cool, so, I'm gonna... Oh, this is not what I thought it was. Uh... Can't go down there anyway at the moment. The collectible, as in camp, the collectible down there can't be collected, annoyingly. So there's there's lots of things I need to pick up in order for uh... <laughs> exactly how this gala. Uh, I just haven't changed the skin. I don't think. I have beaten the game, yeah, um, but I did it ages ago and I've forgotten lots of it because I basically did like a full on binge. I did like, I was like, I'm going to get this done and I completed it in like a weekend or something. Okay, so what am I wanting to upgrade here? There's not really that much. Eh, that would be useful actually, we'll use that. Nice. And we'll jump on up. We'll jump through here. We've got the portal. May have to use the portal once just to see. Cool. So that's fine. I've not played the DL the like the newest DLC of this either, so I've not really finished the game. Cause I think it's oh god, it's her. Ah, this is what we need the rosary stuff for the nut the knots there we go knot of rosary rope that allow ah that allows us to add new ah yeah 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 now i remember the rosary knot allows us to add more rosaries which is very useful because we do need them i don't have any more so that allows us to equip what two more yeah so the small bead of red wax we've got, we've got the immaculate beads, we've got perpetuous protection, something shit. Ah, reduces dodging cooldown, that's useful, and I might as well just equip that at the moment. I remember I had to get like really sweaty with my choice there later on in the game, but at the moment we're kind of fine. Hey, it's the guy. Will there ever be? 
Oh shit, yeah, this is... Okay, so we're going to get this final platforming bit done before the end of the game. Or before the end of the stream, so... I think we have to go through here. And then we have to do this pure mad, like... I think it's like a timed thing and everything. Yeah, it's pretty fucked, so let's... In fact, no, this one isn't timed, is it? Oh, God. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was fucking close. Jesus. Oh, that was sweaty. Again, if you fall on the spikes, it's like immediate death, so that was a bit tense, to say the least. We can hit this thing. We can, ah, uh, we can't do anything with that yet because we need something else. But we'll, uh, we'll punch through that. What a display of scar! Thank you very much, Sergey. Nice, cool. So with that, we are, funnily enough, uh, you'll see very soon. But we're kind of like back at the start. So we've done like a full on loop. Look at us go. So just to show you kind of what we've done this stream. Um, we started off in this blue area where we are just now. Went to the green, then the brown, and then we went to the blue. Then we went all the way down, fought the boss. Went up through the green stuff. Then went way up and then went way down. And then we're back here. So yeah, not bad quite chuffed with the amount that was done that stream to be honest i genuinely thought it would be more of a struggle um but no that's all good uh right sound so tomorrow we are going to be starting the forest which i have very little experience of i remember i grabbed the game in a steam sale a good couple of years ago now and i played a bit of it and i saw cannibal and i shot myself and i didn't turn to it so we will see how it is. Um, if, yeah, we'll 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 see how we go. Um, I'm. It's it's very Firewatch. Okay, yeah, very Firewatch. Except Firewatch with cannibals. Um, so I've seen some of the folk you have to fight in it, and it looks very very spooky. Um, so we'll we'll see how we go. Um, it might be that uh, if any of you have the game, I might recruit some of you, so I'm not as big a shitbag. Um, but we'll see. So with that, folks, I shall wrap up the stream there. I'm going to, unfortunately, you're going to have to listen to the Stinger transition. What I will do for next stream, though, is I'll turn the Stinger transition off. But I'm going to move on to just chatting. So anyone wearing headphones, this is your five-second warning. Here we go. Oh, nice, and I've turned it off. Yeah, that's really loud, isn't it? Sorry for everyone. I will put it back to a standard fade transition. It's a shame that I can't turn the volume off. I'll probably try and put it into some software and basically kill it. Um, kill, the, kill the audio, or at least quiet the audio. I imagine that's something that I can do. But no, um, this is actually, I'm quite happy with how that was. I thought what, playing the game on the right-hand side was a bit new, and I thought it was going to totally throw me off. But... I was actually fine, um, and having you guys there is a lot better because it means I get to speak to you, you, right, the, you. Um, so, yeah, see you tomorrow at the same time, 8 o'clock. Um, if you liked what you saw and you're new, feel free to give me a follow. Um, I'm also available on YouTube and other stuff if you want to watch, like, old streams. I will be uploading the stream, and remember, if you clip anything, then... Uh, it probably goes on my, my TikTok, to be honest. I know I have TikTok, but it is an uh, archive. So 
um, finding moments that you particularly enjoyed. Um, if they're good enough, then they go on to um, they go on to TikTok. So I shall see you then. Catch you in a bit, folks. See you tomorrow. Hope you have a good evening, morning, or afternoon, wherever you are. See you later. Bye-bye.